Before we get on with this video, I need you guys to hear me out. Currently in the Anime Last Stand Discord, they are hosting a competition, whoever can get the most views after the update drops. They are separating everybody in brackets, going from 0 to 10k, 10k to 35k, and 35k and up. I am currently in the 10k bracket, so if you guys could support me for this bracket, it would mean the world to me. If you guys can subscribe, like, and just share. You don't even have to share it to anybody. Just put copy link and then that's it. But if you do share it with somebody, I would really appreciate that. So what I've noticed is that no one has really explained what each challenge is. So in today's video, I am going to be explaining every challenge in the game. If you don't know already, let's start with one of the worst, one of the most diabolical. I'd rather play anime clash with all the bugs combined than play bare bones on any map. So what this challenge does is resets your unit level from whatever level they are at to level one. It also disables all techniques you guys have on your units. So let's say you have an overlord. Yeah, you don't have an overlord anymore. It just takes it out completely. And if that wasn't enough, they also take away all your skill tree progress. So basically whatever you've been working on your skill tree, it doesn't exist in this challenge. It makes beating this challenge almost impossible. Unless maybe it's desert village, but even on desert village, I feel like this could be a bit hard. Now, some people are going to say, well, that sounds like a skill issue. Well, I don't care whether it's a skill issue or not. I am not going to put all my effort into beating this map just so I can get nothing, okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is an 8 out of 10 in difficulty. It's probably one of the hardest challenges there is. If you guys see this, don't even try it. Don't even, don't even bother wasting your time on this challenge. Going from one of the hardest challenges now to one of the easiest ones, we have Tower Limit. So you can basically place only 5 units, so you just can't go over that, which is pretty simple, to be honest. Uh, if you're doing anything harder than, let's say hollow then you might need a team for this but it's really not that hard the best team i can really recommend is yami oshi mustang and they're really one of the better units without having an evo let's just say uh but if you do have sukuna evolve it could definitely help out a lot on a scale on how hard this challenge could be i'll probably give it a 2 out of 10 it's pretty easy depending on the map and the units that you have but if you had good units and if you had good traits, then you should be good and you shouldn't really be worrying about tower limit. Moving on to high cost. High cost is easy and hard depending on the map you're doing. Planet Namek Act 6 is kind of crazy though, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. I mean, Planet Namek Act 6 on any challenge I think would be hard anyways. So basically what high cost does is basically make everything more expensive by 33%. So unless you can go band to band with ALS, you ain't competing. The two best units for this, to be honest, are probably Yami and Genos because they are the cheapest units that you could place. You will have to wait like maybe a wave before you can place any of them. They are both meta, so you could use them both. My Genos isn't really that high level, but if you get them up to a decent level as well as Yami with decent traits, you could definitely do this on Desert Village and Water Park solo because it shouldn't really be that hard. The only bad map for this challenge is hollow because since the map is so small and you'd still need a wave before you could actually place a unit by the time you actually do get to placing a unit they're probably gonna get through and hit your base so on a scale on how difficult the challenge could be i'll probably give this a five out of ten it just depends on the map really or whether you could do it or not you know he's gonna have the bands on you you know so here we have another 50 50 challenge immunity takes out your attack effects like bleed fire stun so the best units for this would probably be the ones with the most DPS, uh, like Yami, Gojo, or Genos. This is honestly doable by yourself in 04 maps if you have good traits with a good skill tree. But if you are struggling, make sure to join a team with someone that has good traits and a good skill tree. On a scale on how difficult this challenge could be, I, again, I would say 5 out of 10. It just depends really on your traits and how much damage you can provide. Flight. Well, I mean, it's obvious what this challenge is. But if the context clues aren't enough, it's basically all flying units. So the only units realistically helping you out here is Genos, Mustang, and Sukuna Evolve or Unevolve. This challenge should be easy for the most part with good air units. So if you have those, you shouldn't really be struggling on by yourself or with a team. On a scale on how hard this challenge could be, it's probably 3 out of 10. You just gotta have good air units and that's it basically. So get air units, man. Now, if you can't get this, well, I don't even know what to tell you, man. Short range just makes your units have less range. Self-explanatory, right? But even though this is short range, I would still recommend bringing Yami, even though his range is already so short. But he is still going to take care of those units that are going to be coming at the beginning. 
This challenge is really annoying because of the range, but it's doable in the most part. The difficulty would be at a 4 out of 10, to be honest, because you would just need to be able to hold off till you can place a unit with range and a good AoE. So yeah, it is doable. It is doable. 4 out of 10. Now, this is probably the easiest challenge of all. No hit. No hit is basically your base at 1 health, so don't let your base get hit. The difficulty on this challenge would probably be 0 out of 10 because you're not losing anything. You're not losing range. You're not le losing anything. Like, nothing. It's just gonna depend whether you're good or not. So if you're not good, then... Last challenge of the bunch is Speedy. And I ain't talking Gonzalez. This makes units go two times faster than what they would regularly go at. Now, if you're really confident, this shouldn't really be hard for you. You, you might just need fast SPA units like Yami, but that's about it. The annoying thing about this challenge is that some might slip through, so you always gotta be watching. Also, Hollow Dimension might be the worst for this. Uh, again, it's because the map is too small and these motherfuckers are going quick as hell. So, you can't let no mistakes happen. But the difficulty on this challenge would probably be 4 out of 10. Them slipping through would be the only difficult part, to be honest. Well, that is all for the current challenges that are in Anime Last Stand. If they ever do add any new ones, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. So, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and make sure to like and share. Whatever you guys do, I really would appreciate it, guys. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!